escándalos de corrupción a Wanda Vázquez. The airwaves of Puerto Rico's radio stations are dominated by one topic. The resignation of the island's governor following a tech scandal and accusations of corruption have shocked Puerto Rico. Ricardo Rosseo will leave office in days, with speculation that Wanda Vasquez, who's next in line, will play a role in selecting a new governor rather than replace him. Political commentator Osvaldo Carlo says it's the chance for a new start. Attorneys from the states here in Puerto Rico investigating agents of the FBI that come from other jurisdictions. We have a lot of activity, and I believe that this is the moment to, to clean the slate and, and, and have a, a, a government that will really responds to the need of the people. The governor's mansion is now a place of celebration, where people come to take selfies and revel in the governor's removal. As Puerto Ricans look to the future, expectations are high. Mostly um, better governors, uh, a better government in general um, that really can connect with the necessities of our people. We're brothers and sisters in the eyes of God and the eyes of the nation. And we are on the eyes of the whole world and we need to keep united. Everyone that's being elected have to understand that they work for the people. Constitutional expert and human rights activist Judith Birkin is optimistic about the island's future. She tells us change may take time, but it's coming. So there may not be a, a temporary solution that's going to be seen as adequate in any way, but I think nonetheless the way the protests have gone and particularly the participation of an otherwise apathetic young generation will mean long-term fundamental change. Puerto Rico then is at a political crossroads. It's not yet certain who the next governor will be, but it is clear that the future leadership of this island needs to reset its moral compass, win the trust of its people and give them hope. There's now a new generation of young voters here energized by the events of the last two weeks, and they may very well shape the future of this US territory. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, San Juan, Puerto Rico.